important. Lula. C'est quoi ça? I made eggs. Qu'est-ce que tu as mis dedans? I haven't done anything to them. Les atomes empoisonnés? Poison? No. Your mom's. I'm not lying. Maybe you can trick your mother, but not me. I see what you are. The pastor knows what you are. He says you are evil, child. You're the best to go to hell. Everyone, breakfast table now. The Adam's off in the bathroom. If you're not out of there in three seconds, I'm coming in. Take it. has been restored, we can all enjoy our... What the hell is that? <laughs> My car alarm! Oh, you lot! Get back here! <laughs> Have luck. I'm gonna have to put you to your bed. You know, I never thought I'd see this, Connor, but you're getting really boring. You need these, by the way. Robert Public Library. <laughs> Design books for the competition workshop. Yeah, listen, if you need a hand, and what would Michael say? He may have a few doubts, but he thinks this is a good idea. No, he doesn't. He thinks offering a cash prize makes it common. Come on, he's not that bad. Sean, the man is so uptight you couldn't draw a needle from his... I don't get it. I mean, what did Budgie never do to that? It's not just about him, though, is it? It's about all of us coming up here, being on their patch. Coming through! Well saved, mate. So now we've got a turf war. We make it through a bus crash and now this. We didn't all make it, though, did we? Tarek, see you around later. Does it look like I'm going anywhere? Good, we've got work to do. Cheryl, keep you up, did she? Yeah, and she spoke my night out too. All oh, right. Who would you go out with? Some of the other mums from the playgroup. And I have to come home early because she won't well. But I'm going crazy in that flat. Is he ready? Oh, I'll see you later. Oh, he's um, just in there on the phone to Gerard. As in, have luck, Gerard. 
Yeah, well, he's inviting him out or something for a coffee. He wants to offer him the olive branch. Well, what for? Because we have to cooperate with him sooner or later. He's on his way. Come and find me when he gets here. Walk. I think you should pop in on Lorraine's design workshop today. Okay. She thinks you don't approve of the competition. No, it's not that I don't approve. I just think there are better ways to motivate the pupils than money. Really? She thinks it's because you're uptight. I am not uptight. Oh, that's what I said. All right, look, I'll drop in, make sure there's no trouble. Why would there be trouble? This is Lorraine that we're talking about. Hey, did you manage to write a few words? No, I'm going to wing it. Wait, is Rose here yet? She's not coming. Says she can't get the time off work. Listen, what do you know about a kid called Lula Tibby? Sibby, yeah, she's your 11. Yeah? Well, someone needs to talk to her about road awareness. I'll add it to the list of other things I need to talk to her about, then. Is she a troublemaker? Oh, model pupil at her last school, apparently, but I've been getting reports. The cherry blossom. The bloke at the garden centre said it was symbolic. Symbolic of what? No idea. I thought Denzel would like it. I'm the victim of a hate crime. Really, Granny? In what way? Half a lot of kids have vandalised my car. OK, then. I think we're all here. First of all, I'd like to thank you all for coming. I think you know that we're all here to pay tribute to Denzel. Uh, but before we begin the actual planting ceremony, I think Mr. Clarkson would like to say a few words. Tom? Where's he off to? He's got a meeting with Gerard. I've been asked to talk about Denzel. What is this to say? Denzel was a great kid. Full of life. Too young to have something like this happen to him. You know what? You, you all know what a great person he was. You don't need me going on about it. Not exactly stop all the clocks. No. Talking about at the gates, you're trying to stare down Clarkson's car. What are you, Imogen? And I reckon something happened to you on that road. It was like you were in a trance or something. You see, I reckon you had some sort of out of body experience. You know, a moment when you stepped into another conscious realm. Please, leave me. I'm into that stuff raptures, trances, astral planing. I reckon you should test you. You may have a gift, you know. I said, Leave me alone! Luna, what do you think? That's me! Cooler. Wow! There we are. I'm really talking about regular meetings. See if we can help one another. Well, to be bosom buddies, are we? We can at least cooperate. Is there a problem, Mr. Budgeon? Yes, there is. Havelock Academy owes me a respray. I beg your pardon. Call it 200 quid. Uh, what's this about, Grantley? This is about my car being attacked by hooligans from his school. There are no hooligans at Havelock. We'll let the police decide that, shall we? Jared, would you just give us a minute? What are you doing? His pupils ruined my paint job. It doesn't mean you can just come in and demand 200 quid from him. I'll take a check. I'm trying to build bridges here. Yeah, and I am trying to get justice. Now, are you going to help me or not? I'll come and find you later. Please. Sorry about that. Where were we? It is bad enough that you attack a pupil, but during Denzel's ceremony, not only did you disrespect his memory, but you offended everyone who was in attendance, and this is just the latest in a long line. Ever since you came here, you've been nothing but trouble, Lula. 
How do you think your mum and dad would feel about your behaviour? My father is dead. Right. Well, we didn't know that. Lula, if you've got a problem with this school... This school is stupid, and the people are there are stupid. They were commemorating a friend. Why? You won't bring him back. Wait there. I'm bringing in the mother. Can you speak to her? Yeah. God knows what Denzel would have made of this fiasco. Well, I reckon he would have enjoyed it. He always did love a bit of chaos. See, that's the kind of insight we could have done with earlier. What do you mean? Well, you just didn't seem very engaged during the ceremony. Come on. We're tree planting and peace gardens, it's hardly very Denzel, is it? Mr Budgeon's a good teacher, but he can sometimes be a bit rash. So you agree Havelock pupils aren't involved? Well, I think we both know that they probably were. So, what now? Well, make some inquiries, find out who is responsible and take it from there. So this is cooperation, is it? Well, I think it's better than going to the police. Must be strange being back. Strange how? Coming home can be daunting. All those ghosts waiting for you. Oh, I don't believe in ghosts. Let's talk about the motifs Fitzgerald employs in Gatsby. Can anyone tell me what the green light represents in the story? His girlfriend's house, Miss. Yes, Gatsby associates the light with Daisy, but, um, anything else? His dreams, Miss. It's the thing you can't reach. Exactly. Wasn't Fitzgerald an alcoholic? I mean, I'm just wondering why we're reading a book written by a guy who's out of his head. Because it's in the exam, Connor. But do you think he would have written a better book if he was sober? Well, I guess we'll never know. Now, getting back to Gatsby. Not just him, mind. Loads of them at it. Hemingway, Faulkner, Poe. Dorothy Parker? Yeah. I mean, why are we listening to a bunch of drunks? Because, Connor, they have been celebrated for over a century. Whereas you have just been annoying for the past ten minutes. <laughs> Climb that mountain, a guide to overcoming personal adversity. Yeah, it's full of all this great stuff and how you can achieve your goals. Yeah, well, right now my only goal is to get downstairs. Good, because that's where I set up your base camp. Look out! Coming through! What the hell are you playing at? Not playing at anything. You want to nag me at home? Fine. But you don't bring it to school. Why not? Someone please just sober. This is my job. This is what keeps a roof over your head. And if you don't like that, find yourself somewhere else to live. mother apologizes. Uh, she is too sick to come today. I'm sorry to hear that. Not as sorry as we are to hear about Lula. They said she was fighting at a funeral. A memorial service, yeah. Mm. What is to be done with her? Well, that's why we've called you in, so we can discuss just that. It would help us if we had an idea what Lula was like at home. Very bad. Her mama is ill with her wicked behavior. Can you think of a reason why she might be acting like this? No. She has everything. 
We feed her, clothe her, love her, and yet she still disrespects us. What about her father, Mr. Sibby? He is not to blame for this. W would you consider getting her some help? Already done, Mr. Clarkson. Our pastor is to speak with Lula. Your pastor? Pastor Abdullah, a very wise man. Well, some spiritual input would be great. I, I was thinking more along the lines of counselling. And that is what you will get? Well, the school can access services that... No need. The pastor will help Lula change her ways. May I speak with her? Thank you, Mr. Sibby. My pleasure. You will see the pastor tonight. Of my money, you better believe you're going to earn it. That means coming to all the workshops, putting in the effort, yeah? So, if you think you got the balls for that, sign the register on the table by the end of the day. That's it, we're done. This is your mountain. Looks more like a rope to me. Well, you need to set yourself a challenge, see? Something to work for. Until every day you climb higher and higher until you get to the top. Might seem like a really stupid question, but what's the point? Well, the point is, the higher you get, the stronger you become. I've got weights for that. And that's physical, this is about mental strength. When something traumatic happens, we focus on the negatives. We need to rewire our brains. See what's possible. That's what this is about, possibilities. Tarek? So, how did I do? Yeah, your approach was interesting. Really? I was going for ball breaking. Look, you have to be more sensitive with them. Actually, I don't. I'm here to teach the kids about the real world. I'll leave all that molly coddling stuff to you teachers. Well, yeah, Jared's assured me he'll find out who's responsible. Police might do a better job. We have to keep the peace with Havelock Grantley. Just be patient, please. Oh, would you countenance it? For God's sake, grow a pair. I beg your pardon. Stop moaning and do something. They wrecked your car. Fight back. You heard what he said. I don't care what Michael said. This thing happened outside of school. He's got no jurisdiction. on with your mum this morning? Why ask her all those questions? Because I wanted answers. And maybe you'll get them when you drive her home tonight. I don't know what you're on about. That wasn't you driving your mum's car last week then? In a way, I'm kind of jealous that your mum lets you drive. She shouldn't let me. She's in no fit state to let me. I mean, she was pretty ill, so... I'm just looking after her, eh? Parents, they're a worry. You bring them up, you try and teach them right from wrong, but in the end, you have to let them fly from the nest. 
What are you on about? I can't go on forever. That was for Denzel. You ought to learn some respect. Oh, you! You evil cow! I know it was you. Don't know what you're on about. Yeah, you do. What? You think this is funny? This is my little brother. I see he's got your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Think you're safe? It's all right. There's plenty of room. I'm avoiding someone myself. Have you got anything to eat? Did he hurt? Your accident, did he hurt? At the start. But ever since the hospital, I've not felt anything. That's the problem. Are you angry? Just one of those things. No one of those things. What happened to you was God's will. Why would God want to put me in a chair? As a punishment. Punishment? For what? Maybe you have an ugly heart. An ugly heart? Are you for real? God punishes evil. And if he finds it in you, he will act. There you are. I've been looking all over for you. It happened to you. No one else. Only you and God know what you did. He punished you so your heart will get better. What was all that about? I thought peace gardens and tree planting weren't your thing. I said they weren't Denzel's thing. Me, I don't mind them. So Rose called the office. Me? She want. To ask why she wasn't invited to Denzel's ceremony. Didn't call her. Well, can I ask why? Didn't know what to say. How about we're paying tribute to Denzel and we'd love it if you could join us? I meant I didn't know what to say about Denzel. Have you not spoken to Rose since he died? Tom? Dad! You need to come here quick. Tarek, stop it! Tarek! Get off me now! What's happened? I don't know, he just flipped out. He was talking to the blue girl. I what said, she, get off me! What did she say to you? Nothing, just get off me! She was going on about God punishing him. I said, get off me! Until you take it Tarek, easy. calm down. Look at me. Calm down. Lula Sibby! Wait there. Where do you think you're going? You told Tarek that his condition was a punishment from God. How could you say something like that? Because it's true. God punishes people who do bad things. Well, you must have something pretty bad lined up for you because you're the only person doing bad things around here today. And according to your uncle, you know better at home either. <laughs> My uncle is a liar! Not from where I'm standing. 
Let's hope this pasta's as good as your uncle says it is. <laughs> Lula. You have to stop them! Stop who? They're going to do it tonight. They're going to do what, Lula? An exorcism? Says her uncle's convinced that she's possessed by a spirit or a demon. We should get the police in. Let's talk to Lula first. What's all that about? Lula, do you bet her uncle actually thinks that she's a witch? What? Oh, well, did you want some it? Yeah, um, it was about earlier, you know, you saying you wanted to have a bit of fun. Yeah, well, what about it? I think I might be able to help you out. Are you sure? Yeah, like you said, you know, you need a decent night out. Great, when? How about tonight? Yeah, all right then. What, can you come round to mine at about eight? Absolutely. <laughs> I can't help you unless you tell me what the problem is. What's the point? None of you can tell me why. How come this happened to me? I can't answer that, Tarek. Yeah, well, maybe Lula's right. Maybe I deserved it. Maybe it's karma or payback or something. What about Denzel? You think this is your payback? What did Denzel do to deserve this? Denzel's different. He was solid. Yes, he was. And him dying wasn't karma. It was just very, very sad. Lula, can you tell us anything about why your uncle thinks that you're possessed? He came to live with us when my father died. Mm -hmm. From the beginning, he said I was an evil child. What about your mum, Lula? Mama is sick with grief. She doesn't eat. She doesn't talk. And does she know what your uncle and this pastor have planned? Do you have any other friends or family? Anyone else who could help? No, I have no one. What do you do now? You know what this is? Child abuse, pure and simple. Well, I'll have a word with child services, see what they are taking on. You should get the police in. I'll call them as well, but in the meantime, keep an eye on her. How's Tarek? Not great. I've never seen him so defeated. I'll have a word with him. She's got a lot to answer for. Well, you might want to go easy on her. Not my miss. Where did you get it, honey? It was on the desk when I came in. Now that's a lie. You found it in the class? Okay, go on, sit down. Thank you, Audrey. I will uh, find out who brought it in. You sure? Yes, yes, just um just leave it to me. My name's Tom Clarkson. I'm a teacher at Lula's school. I need to speak to Lula's mum. Rondala Interior. She does not speak English. But you can speak to me. Lula said it was an exorcism, and you believed her. I've never seen a kid so scared. My niece is a very good actress. 
But you are taking us to see this pastor, though, right? Yes. The pastor will talk to her and give her guidance. This kind of guidance? Beatings, abuse, some kid made to drink acid? Do you think I would let something like this happen to Lula? So you don't believe in this Kindoki thing? Oh. Kindoki. Kindoki. Is this all you people know of the Congo? What do I believe? I believe my niece is a very troubled child. Well, maybe there's a good reason for that. I mean, she did just lose her dad. Maybe if you try to show a little bit more understanding rather than calling her wicked, you might find that her behavior improves. Lula's father is not dead. What? My brother was deported back to Kinshasa two months ago. I see. Now do you understand what kind of girl we are dealing with, Mr. Clarkson? No, there's no problem. Right. Back to your work, please. Don't touch me! Sit down. Why don't you take her? I said sit. <laughs> okay, outside, please. I said outside. To be honest, I don't know what to think now. Well, it didn't look like she was lying about the exorcism. Well, it didn't look like she was lying when she said her dad was dead. What was your impression of the home setup? <sighs> the mum looks out of it it's like she's disengaged. And the uncle? Not sure. I'm not mad about him describing Lula as wicked. No. Well, we need to be on the safe side, so Shard, why don't you go ahead and let social services know? Okay. Everything okay? This young lady needs some time in the cooler. I'll take her. Oh, thank you, Mr. Clarkson. Come on. There's something wild about that girl. She has been having some problems. Well, until she deals with them, I refuse to teach her. Come on, Audrey. It's not like you to have discipline problems. No, no. I can deal with most things, disruption fights, but that girl is different. No, um, I thought I should let you know that the police are here. What? What for? They've got to speak to Mr. Budgeon about that complaint that he made. <sighs> Find out where he is. Many people know that there was a bottle of vodka on your desk at lunchtime. About half the school. So, what happened? Someone broke in and found the damn thing in my drawer. And it's not what you think. It was left over from staff drinks. I just forgot it was there. It's okay. You don't have to explain. I'm not so sure. Audrey was here, saw the whole thing. She would just think it belonged to one of the kids. No. No, no, she knew something was up. She's not stupid. She can't prove it was yours, though. No, but she can assume, can't she? So let her assume. Who cares? Connor, Connor, kids are not the only ones who gossip. This will be the talk of the staff room by tomorrow, and, and, and then it will get to burn, and, and he's going to want some answers. I can't lose this job, Carl. I can't lose this job. I don't 
don't understand. You said you'll stop this. The thing is, Lula, I'm not sure that there is anything to stop. Your uncle said there isn't going to be an exorcism tonight. But he's lying! And what about you? You told us that your father was dead. Why would you say something like that if it isn't true? It's true. Your uncle said that your father is at home in Kinshasa. He can't be both. Yes, he can. Lula. Lula, I need the truth. He got sick during summer, very sick. Mama and I tried to help, but he got worse. He would not go to hospital. He was illegal. But I couldn't stand to see him in pain, so I found the ambulance. So they admitted him to hospital and then they sent him back? My father left the Congo because his life was in danger. If he's dead now. He's dead. Uh, it's probably just one of the kids. Year 11s are strictly cider or alcopops, not vodka. Then how did it get there? Maybe it was there all along. You do know your mum's trending all over the school. I heard something about it. I didn't think she was dumb enough to bring vodka into the school. You don't even know her. I know she's smart. One of the best teachers in this school. It's just a pity you weren't there to take care of her this time. <laughs> Are you a friend of Stevens? He's all right. All right? Man's a genius. <laughs> if you say so. There's a horror fest going on at the Royal just now. I'm showing Pet Cemetery. Want to go? Are you asking me on a date? Calm yourself. It's just a film. Had a right to report them. Yes, you did, Grantly, and now you can unreport them. Why should I? For the greater good. We all have to make sacrifices. Whilst I felt the incident serious enough at the time, I now realise it didn't warrant police involvement. You were throwing the complaint. It's about the sounds of it, yes. You admit you made a false accusation. False my backside. I saw the little thugs with my own eyes. I think what Mr. Budgeon means is that, on reflection, he can't be exactly sure who the culprits were. Right. Thank you for your time, Constable. You know, I remember a time when Head supported their staff. I warned you, didn't I? No one to help you now. Please, leave me alone. Why should we? You didn't leave Tarek alone, did you? Come on. Come on. She just likes throwing her weight around. Look, I want to help you. I don't need your help. I'm sorry about this morning. I feel like it was all my fault. No, I shouldn't have behaved that way. Maybe my uncle is right. Maybe I'm evil. You're not evil, Lula. Do you know him? Oi, what are you doing? Help! Well, her father's deportation would explain her behaviour. Well, according to Lula, the mother blames her for calling the ambulance. Well, I hate we told her that's rubbish and it wasn't her fault. You did tell her that, didn't you? Tom?
He came here because of me. He did? Denzel. Is that what this is about? You think Denzel was on that bus because of you? Why else would he come? The same reason we all did. To make a fresh start and to be with friends. Look, you are no more responsible for Denzel than Lula is for her father. No, I just... I just wish he'd have stayed in Watchdale. You know. Lula! He took Lula! Any luck with the bottle? No, I'm afraid not. I spoke to them, but it's... Uh, it's like they've got an emerita. But don't worry, I'm not finished yet. I will find out who brought it in. That was me. You brought alcohol to school? Yeah. I found it at a mate's house. Why bring it here? Shown off, I guess. Thought I might drink it after school. So, how did the bottle end up on your mum's desk? I must have left here this morning. I must have fallen in my bag. But as for mum's desk, someone else must have put it there. I'm really sorry, mum. Yes, well, it's just not good enough, Connor. One thing after another with you. You know what happens when you bring alcohol into school? Suspension, yeah. There's no need for that. At least you owned up. We can uh, let you off with a warning this time. But you can bet we'll be dealing with this when we get home. Mrs. Sibby, do you understand? Lula et en danger. She's in danger, Mrs. Sibby. Do you understand? What do you mean in danger? Please let me go. I promise I'll be good. I promise. The pastor will be here soon. You should pray now. If you care for your soul, you will pray. Pray to be clean. <laughs> Only the pastor can help you now. Your mother, your school, they do not care for your soul. Lula seems pretty sure that it is. She tells lies, stories, always about her uncle. Maybe those stories are true. Lionel is a good man. He helps us. He provides for us. I need you to help me find Lula. No, I can't. I'm sick. I cannot think about this. Not now. Mississippi, please. No. Now, please go. I know what happened to your husband. You're worried. I understand. You do not know how I am feeling. I know that Lula thinks that you blame her for what happened to her father. You're grieving, Mrs. Sibby, but you need to wake up. Lula needs you. I do not know where they can be. I think they're with Adula. He took her to Adula. Crois en Dieu, le Père, tout puissant, créateur du ciel et de la terre, et en Jésus-Christ, son fils unique, notre Seigneur, conçu du Saint-Esprit, né de la Vierge Marie, 
sous fer, sous pose pilate. Crucifié, mort et enseveli, et descendu en enfer. Let her go! I said let her go! This is not your concern. This is my pupil. I am a family. I am caring for her. You should go home. Lula! Lula! It's for our own good. What is good about this? He just wants his money. He fills his pockets with your stupidity. The child is bad, you know this. She is a child, Lionel, and we are supposed to be taking care of her. I am taking care of her now. Why you like crying in your bed? Well, I am awake now, and I will take my daughter home. Don't come to my house again. Cecile. Too right, I did. my mess, not yours. Well, you need to keep your job and I need a place to live. I'm sorry about this morning. I forget about it. And you're right about the booze. It's time I laid off it for a bit. For real? Today was too close for comfort. Well, Good. I'm glad. So, um, how about me and you going for a bite to eat? Actually, I'm going out tonight. All right. I can put them off. No, no, it's it's fine. I'll um, I'll just grab a takeaway or something. Oh, and Connor. Thanks. You, uh, wanted to see me? Oh, yeah, about tonight. Can we do half seven instead of eight? Yeah, sure, whatever. We've booked a lane. Hey? What, me and the girls were going bowling? You and the girls? Yeah, but from playgroup. Well, what are we going to do tonight? Well, you're going to come over and babysit Cheryl. Help me out, like you said. <laughs> yeah, of course I am. It's still all right, isn't it? Yep, yep, half seven it is. <laughs> mm. Oh, Chalkette, you are an absolute star. Hello? Hey, babes. Yeah, tonight is on. <laughs> Right. Okay. Yeah, bye. Well? She's safe. Tom's with her now. Great. So, what was the final score then? We didn't fill the workshops. Ah, well, don't be too downhearted. It's like I said, with the kids, you have to tread a bit more softly. Mm. Sean and I can talk to them. We overfilled them. Looks like they've got thicker skins than you give them credit for. You okay? You look a little tense. No, no, I'm uh, thrilled that the workshop was such a tremendous success. See you later. I'm not uptight. That's why I said. Have you seen Tarek? No. I am not uptight. Mm. Oh, 
Daddy? What are you doing here? We said I should come visit. Because here I am. Surprised or what? Paddy out, we'll rest the bus. Are you coming or what? Would you mind if I cried off? Something I said? No, of course not. It's just that I need to take care of something. You're lost. See you tomorrow then. Won't you tell your dad get off my back? Lula? I'm sorry. Oh, it took him a moment. No, I was selfish. I left you to deal with Lionel. Well, no longer. I am here for you now. Tonight, we will eat and talk of your father. Yes? Thank you. I'll be up in a minute. Sarah. Thank you. It's pretty scary, eh? The scary thing was thinking no one was coming to help. Yeah, well, we did cut it a bit fine. But you did the right thing, Lula. With your father. You know that. Would you be an out of It's me. <laughs> Didn't take too long to find the culprits. Quick interrogation and they soon cracked. <laughs> but how did you... spray. Ringleader's father owns a garage. Told him if he didn't fix this by the time you got home, I'd exclude his son. Listen, uh, thanks for not reporting us to the police. You'd every right. <laughs> the boss doesn't agree. Well, of course. Uh, Michael Bunn and the police don't mix so well. What's that supposed to mean? Maybe you should ask him. OK, I'll, uh, I'll let you go on. Celebration. Yeah? What's the occasion? The occasion, Connor, my darling, is that I finally worked it out. <laughs> it was a setup, wasn't it? Your plan was to leave the bottle there all along. You thought you would show me up, didn't you? Out me. Now, personally, I think that was a, a clumsy move, but the aftermath now, <laughs> now that was inspired. Acting concerned for me, and then the master stroke. The confession. Making me think that poor little innocent Connor took the blame to save his mum. I wanted it to make you see. See what? How t twisted you are, how much you want to hurt I'm me. trying to help you. I can't believe anything you see. And you wonder why I drink. <laughs> the 
knocking now upon your door They measure the room, they know the score They're mopping up the butcher's flow Of your broken little heart What did you say? I told him that you're a devious, selfish little weirdo that can't be trusted. 